Armea. Aha. Duncan. Huh? Aber Crombie. Cleo. Medusa. Gloria. Webster. Jose. What's taking so long? Where's Webster? Why did he want us here? Dunno. Sorry about the wait, but building the world's first working time machine takes time. But shortly, we'll be able to go back in history and speak to famous people. Wow. Millions of people who've never seen me will have a chance to be dazzled by my beauty. It's time for the first test. Stand back. field must have short-circuited the picture tube. And it's starting to short-circuit Abercrombie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do we do? I'll take him outside and distract him. You see if you can fix the TV. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, Abercrombie, you should see the view from up here. It's great. We apologise for this interruption to your TV viewing. Abercrombie, this isn't TV. This is real life. It's much more exciting. Do not adjust your television. Do not adjust your television. Webster, have you fixed the TV? No. Miss Morbida had to send it to the repair shop. But I've nearly finished the time machine. Just a few final adjustments. It's very important that absolutely no one touches it. If this thing really works, it'll be much more fun than TV. So many buttons. Which one do I push? Oh, the crazy thing short-circuited again. It's a new lounge room setting. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Someone's coming. Away, foul demons. By the powers of the Ancient Ones, be gone. Ouch! You silly wand, the magical flux must have overloaded the pointy bit. It's Webster! Why are you dressed up like that? I know you not. I am Merlin, the court magician. Oh, no. I think we really have gone back in time to when they lived in castles and wore armour and spoke funny. Come with me, guard. Oh. Thou must explain thy souls to the king and queen. Who? Thou wilt find out soon enough, hairy one. But first, a word of warning. Maketh no remark on the bolts in the king's head, or your life will be worth nothing. Bolts in his head? It couldn't be. Silence before your king and queen. Oh, if that's, like, OK with you. I didn't mean to freaketh you out. The king and queen? Are they here? We're like the king and queen, my lord. Of course. Which one am I? Oh, he looks just like Duncan. He sounds just like Duncan. Thou insolent dog! Uh, be wary, lest they feel my blade. Oh. Everyone looks like our friends from Morgstone Hall. Who are you? I be Vlad the Fierce, court executioner. Yeah, right. Impertinent swine, I will... Uh. Stand over here. Tell us, sire. What is your business in our realm? Oh, be quick, or we'll... What will we do? We'll cut off our heads. <laughs> and everyone knows what a bummer it is to go through life like without a head. Thou couldn't eat anything for starters. So thou better tell us. Oh, yeah. What are you doing here? Um... Head, head, head. What he's trying to say oh, is... Oh, thou shalt, like, sup with us tonight? More food? Goody. But first, our like guests needeth rest after their long journey. So I have time for a snack before dinner. Well done, Abercrombie. I thought we were in real trouble. Princess Methuselah, 
Care for a seat? Thank you. <laughs> I am most weary. Still the fairest in the land. <laughs> Ye must be the mysterious stranger who arrived in the magical carriage. <gasps> Thou art handsome too. I will see thee at dinner, my lord. Huh? Is that the time? Lords and ladies, it be of my pleasure to introduce the funniest man this side of the castle. Vlad, the funniest man. Thank you. My dog hath no nose. How doth he smell? Terrible. <laughs> the other day, I did shoot a dragon in my pajamas. How he did get in my pajamas, I'll never know. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's terrible. Silence, please. The like king wishes to speak. That be like you, my lord? Ooh. Oh, verily, of course. I knew that. That is a brick. I have Oi. some happy news. This tastes great. And I also wish to announce the betrothal of my daughter, the Princess Medusilla. I'd want to marry her. To our honoured guest, Sir Abercrombie. carriage hidden to ensure that thou dost not think of departing before the wedding. We'd never do that. And I have many questions. Where didst thou come from? How didst thou get here? What is this? Uh, it's fur! Hmm. I have to find the time machine before the wedding. Only one channel, but it's a good one. My lord, we are alone at last. I long for our wedding day to speed quickly nigh. What words can express our love? Oh, how romantic. Made speechless by my beauty. I can't see it anywhere. Where do I look now? Into my eyes. And why would I do that? Oh, my love, you stand above. Like a dove that hasn't been cooked in an oven. That was awful. Why do you think I'd be interested in you? Because soon I shall be king. With Val by my side, we can get rid of Cleo and Duncan and sit on the throne. Sit on the what? Uh, on the bone, my lord. I like nothing better than to sit on a lamb bone. It's a well-known cure for uh, cold. We've got to get out of here. Uh, and then he sang me a song, or at least I think it was meant to be a song, and he told me how he planned to get rid of the king and queen and take over with me as his wife. And if that happens, I might cut my own head off with his axe. What are we going to do? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> One sip of this and the fools will be gone and... I will be king! Oh, this will be mine! <laughs> Except the flowers. I hate flowers. How can you be so calm? You're about to get married. Just do it. Yeah, great. If you could just tell me where the machine is. Oh, no. The king would have my head. You don't seem to be using it. But first he would torture me horribly. I would be spanked and then poked with hot things and then, worst of all, Vlad would sing to me. So please, don't force me to tell you that the machine is hidden in the dungeons. Oh, dear. Don't get married before I get back. Yeah, we celebrate this wedding with gifts of sheets and bedding. Maybe thou should stick to thy jokes in the future. They may give me laugh. Thou will be laughing out of the other side of thy mouth soon enough. Have you seen a time machine? You mean a large metallic device with a seat and many dials and whirling uh -huh. antennas that transports one magically to another age. Yes, that's it. No, sorry. Oh. Tis time to toast the happy couple, my lord. Toast? But I had breakfast hours ago. No, sire. 
with a cup of wine? Oh, of course. My honoured guests, I propose a toast to the bride and groom. Oi. Finally! I hope I'm not too late. The happy, happy couple! couple. By day. My husband! She had stolen my husband! Oh, uh, looks like get him! Come on! Daddy, stop them! I command thee to stop! Dave, teach me! Sorry, everyone! Bye! I never liked him anyway. Thou varlet! Thou didst poison my wine. Dost thou have anything to say before I have thee thrown into a dungeon for the rest of thy life? Um, we're already in the dungeon. We're home at last. I never thought I'd be glad to see this place. What a ride, eh, Abercrombie? What's with all this noise? It made me smudge my nails. You'll never believe what happened. Abercrombie and me got in the time machine and went back in time and you were all there and Duncan was king and Abercrombie was going to get married and we only just escaped with our lives. Yeah, life. yeah. Just keep it down, okay? I'm afraid the machine's been here the whole time. I just couldn't get it to work. Hey, Furball, shouldn't you be in the sand pit digging up some bones? Flad! <laughs> You're rude and obnoxious and smelly and awful again and you don't love me anymore. <laughs> 